This example looks at how to find the reaction forces on a beam at the supports. This sort of problem is very common in structural engineering, either here because we're interested in the reaction forces in their own right, or maybe in more complex problems because we need the reaction forces as a first step before doing more detailed calculations. The beam we're looking at here has got three loads on it. The first one on the left-hand side is a 2 kilonewton distributed load. This is a very common form of loading. It could be self-weight, could be a group of people standing close to each other. Any sort of load which is distributed over an area or a length can be approximated as a UDL. The second load, a point load, is also a very common form of loading. Um, it could, for example, be due to one person standing on a spot or, or maybe the, the force due to a wheel in a car. A little less usual to have it inclined, as in this example, it's 45 degrees, but we might imagine a car braking heavily on a bridge, so we have the vertical load due to the weight of a car and the horizontal load due to the, the braking action, which combine to produce an inclined load. The third load on the right-hand side is a triangular load, so this increases from zero on the left-hand side above the support to three kilonewtons per metre on the right-hand side. Triangular loads acting vertically, as in this example, are perhaps not very common, but if they're acting horizontally, then they're more common. So you might imagine the hydrostatic pressure on the face of a dam, or as a rough approximation, a triangular load is good for modelling the wind force on the side of a skyscraper. So that's the problem, and it's a good conceptual problem that introduces the various um, types of load. And we're going to solve it by looking at the equilibrium of the beam. We know the beam is not accelerating, so the horizontal forces must sum to zero, the vertical forces must sum to zero, and there must be no overall moment. So we have the three equations which are, are written there, um, and we need to apply those carefully. The, the first step in this sort of problem is to draw a free body diagram, um, and that captures all the loads acting on the structure, including those due to the support reactions. You might note here that there are two supports, A at the left-hand side, which is a hinge, so that has a horizontal reaction and a vertical reaction, and then B on the right-hand side is a roller, so that will just have a vertical reaction. There's no horizontal force at B. So having noted that, we can draw the three-body diagram, which will look something like this. We have all the externally applied loads and then the support reactions that we've just identified. Now it's the support reactions we need to find, so we're going to label them HA and VA for horizontal and vertical at A on the left hand side and VB on the right hand side. And now we can apply the equations of equilibrium. We'll start with moment equilibrium. Um, it's a good place to start because it often means you don't have to solve simultaneous equations with this sort of problem. Now if we take moments about A, then we get the equation that's just appeared there. Now, there's quite a lot of numbers in that equation, so it's worth working through it and making sure that we understand each term. So the left-hand term, which is 2 times 1 times 1 1.5, that's the moment due to the uniformly distributed load. And the 2 times 1 is the total value of the load, so it's 2 kilonewtons acting over a length of 1 metre. And then the 1.5 is the lever arm of that load about A. Because it's a uniformly distributed load, the position at which the equivalent point load acts is in the middle of the, the length of the UDL. The second, second term in the equation, the 5 sine 45 times 3, that's the uh, moment due to the point load. So we want the vertical component of, of that point load, so that's why there's the sine 45 in there. And the lever arm is, is 3 metres, it's acting 3 metres from A. The third term is the 4 times VB, so that's more straightforward. That's just the reaction force at B, that's the, the quantity we want to determine. Notice that there's a negative sign in there because this is acting in the opposite direction to the other loads. And then finally we've got the term for the triangular load. This is a little, little trickier. The 3 times 1 times a half, that's the total value of the load. So you can imagine the area of the, the, the triangle indicating the load is, is, is the value of the load. And then the 4 and 2 thirds is the lever arm. The um, equivalent point load in a triangular, triangular load acts at the centre of gravity of, of the triangle. So that's 4 and 2 thirds metres from A in this case. So that's what all the numbers mean. If we work that through... 
then we find that the reaction force B is 5.2 kilonewtons acting upwards. So that was probably the hardest equation we need to solve. If we now resolve forces vertically using our, our second equation of equilibrium, then again we, we say that overall there's no, no force acting. And then we've got the, the terms one at a time. We've got the reaction force at A. We don't know that. That's what we're looking for. We've got the 5.2, the reaction force at B, which we've just worked out. They're both acting upwards, and so they have positive signs. Then we have the UDL, that's acting downwards, and the total value of that load is, is 2 times 1. We've got the vertical component of the point load again, that's also acting down. And then the final term in the equation, the 3 times 1 times a half, is the triangular load at the end of the beam. Again, if we work that through, we end up with the uh, answer for RA, and it's uh, 1.88 kilonewtons. Then finally, we've got horizontal forces to consider. This is easier. We've just got one horizontal force acting. That's the horizontal component of the point load. Um, so that's 5 times cos 45. And we find that HA is minus 3.5 kilonewtons, the negative sign indicating that it's actually acting to the left rather than to the right.